With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's solve the question. The question says, figure shows two parallel wires separated by a distance of 4 cm and carrying equal current of 10 ampere along opposite directions. Find the magnitude of magnetic field B at the points A1, A2, A3 and A4. So what is given to us that there are two wires, current flowing out of the plane for this wire and current going inside the plane for wire number 2 and separation between them is given to us which is 4 cm. So separation between them is 4 cm and this A3 point is situated in the middle of these two wires because its distance from wire number 1 is 2 cm. So this will also be 2 cm. So now it is 2 cm. So now let's calculate magnetic field at point A1. So we know that if there is a current carrying wire, let's suppose that it is our current carrying wire, long current carrying wire. Okay, it is going into infinite, coming from infinite, going to infinite. And if there is a point P, which is uh, at a R distance from the wire, it is point P, then magnetic field at point P is given by mu naught I divided by 2 pi R, where R, R is the perpendicular distance from the wire. So to solve this problem, we need to find out the perpendicular distance of A1 from both the wires. So we are solving first for wire 4 point A1. So for A1, a1 distance from the wire number 1, let's call it wire number 1, let's call it wire number 2. So from wire number 1 it is, let's call it D1, perpendicular distance, it is 2 cm. We can write it as 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. And distance from the wire number 2 is 2 plus 4, it is 6 cm. So we can write it as 6 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. Now we need to find out the direction of the magnetic force on this wire. So if we apply the, we know that magnetic force faced by the wire is given by I dl cross B. So we need to find out the direction of magnetic field at point A1. So due to the wire number 1, we can apply the right hand thumb rule which will give us magnetic force, magnetic field line in this direction. So magnetic field, let's call it B, B1, it will be in upward direction and due to wire number 2 for which current is coming out of the plane, magnetic field direction will be in opposite direction. So for wire number 1, we can calculate net magnetic field. So net magnetic field for A1 will be mu naught I1 divided by 2 pi d1 minus mu naught i2 divided by 2 pi d2. Now we have to put values here. We have taken minus sign because both the magnetic field are in opposite direction. So you can calculate it. So it will give us magnetic field at point A1. So we can put value mu naught divided by 2 pi, we can write it as 2 into 10 raised to minus 7. What is the value of current? It is 10 ampere divided by, what is the value of D1? It is 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter minus, what is value of mu naught divided by 2 pi? It is 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 multiplied by current which is 10 ampere divided by 6 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. So after solving this, we will get our final answer. So our final answer will be, B A1, it will be 0 0.67 into 10 raised to minus 4 Tesla. Now we want to calculate the net magnetic field at point A2. So where is our point A2? A2 is situated 1 centimeter away from wire number 1. So first we have to find out the direction of magnetic field at point A2. So due to this wire for which current is flowing inside the plane, magnetic field direction will be 
in downward direction so magnetic field will be in this direction due to y number 1 and due to y number 2 magnetic field will also be in downward direction we can find it find it by applying right hand rule right hand thumb rule so for now we want to solve for point a2 for a2 net magnetic field so what is the d1 value d1 which is distance from y number 1 it is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter and what is value of d2 d2 is 3 3 centimeter so it is 3 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter we can observe it that at that a2 distance from y number 1 is 1 centimeter and for y number 2 is 2 plus 1 it will give us 3 centimeter so now we can put easily calculate the magnetic field at a2 so magnetic field at a2 will be mu naught multiplied by i1 divided by 2 pi d1 plus mu naught i2 divided by 2 pi d2 we have taken plus sign because both the magnetic field are in same direction which is downward so we can put the values in this equation and we will get our final answer mu naught divided by 2 pi is 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 multiplied by value of current which is 10 ampere divided by d1 value what is d1 value it is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter plus 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 multiplied by 10 divided by value of d2 which is 3 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters so after calculating this we will get our final answer so our final answer is 2.67 into 10 raised to minus 4 tesla now we want to solve the magnetic field net magnetic field at point a3 so we have to observe point a3 it is in the middle between the two wires so distance from wire number 1 is 2 cm and distance from wire number 2 is also 2 cm so let's solve for point a3 so for point a3 d1 is 2 cm which is 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters and d2 is 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter and we have, we have to find the magnetic field direction at point c so due to the wire 1 magnetic field direction will be in downward direction and due to wire number 2 we can apply the right hand thumb rule it will give us downwards direction so we can easily put values and calculate the magnetic field at the point a3 so our magnetic field at point a3 let's call it da3 it will be equal to mu naught divided by mu naught multiplied by i1 divided by 2 pi d1 plus mu naught i2 divided by 2 pi d2 here we have taken plus sign because both the magnetic fields are in the same direction so we can put values here and calculate magnetic field at point a3 so it will give us we can put value of mu naught divided by 2 pi which is 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 multiplied by 10 divided by d1 what is d1 it is 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter plus 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 multiplied by 10 divided by 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters after solving this we will get our final answer so our final answer is 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 tesla now we want to solve the magnetic field for point A4. So our point A4 is situated here. So we can easily find out its distance from both the wires. Both the distance are same. We can observe this. So this angle will be 45 degree and this angle will also be 45 degree. So distance from Y number 1 we can calculate it. So there is a triangle formed here. It is a triangle okay it is our point a4 it is our y number 1 and it is our y number 2 so distance and distance this much distance is given to us which is 2 centimeter and this much distance is also given to us which is also 2 centimeter so now we can say that distance d1 and distance d2 will both the same and d1 distance can be calculated using the pythagoras theorem so distance so let's calculate for a4 now we can calculate distance d1 which can be calculated using pythagoras theorem it will give us 
टू इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस टू होल स्क्वायर सो इट विल गिव अस आवर फाइनल आंसर ऑफ डी वन सो डी वन इज इक्वल टू टू रूट टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन रेस टू माइनस टू मीटर्स सेम वे वी कैन कैलकुलेट डिस्टेंस डी टू सो डिस्टेंस डी टू विल बी डी टू विल बी सेम टू रूट टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन रेस टू माइनस टू मीटर so now we have to find out the direction of magnetic field so due to this wire where current is flowing inside the plane the direction of the current magnetic field will be perpendicular to this line and will be in this direction and due to wire number 2 magnetic field will be in this direction so we have to find the angle between them so if these two angles are 45 degree 45 degree then we know that summation of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degree so this has to be 90 degree so now we can easily find out the net magnetic field here so net magnetic field will be let's call it b a4 it will be equals to square root of mu not i 1 divided by 2 pi d1 whole square plus mu not i2 divided by 2 pi d2 whole square plus 2 mu not i1 divided by 2 pi d1 bracket multiplied by mu not i2 divided by 2 pi d2 cos 90 degree because angle between these two fields magnetic field is 90 degree we have seen it here in the diagram so now we can easily calculate it so we have to put values here so magnetic field at point a4 will be we have to put values here square root of 2 into 10 this to minus 7 multiplied by 10 divided by 2 root 2 Multiplied by 10 raised to minus 2 whole square plus bracket 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 multiplied by 10 divided by 2 root 2 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 2 whole square. So after calculating this, in this in this equation, this term gets zero because cos 90 degree is equal to zero. So for after solving this, we will get our final answer. So our final answer is B at A4 is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 4 tesla this will be our final answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today